reason for everything we do is to determine the capacity of the airfield to handle aircraft. From the data we collect, we'll be able to give the bases a report on the allowable gross loads for every aircraft type that the Air Force may use and the load bearing capacity of the pavement. First test we did was a friction characteristics test. It's done specifically on the runway to determine the capability of the runway to handle traffic during wet weather. So it's looking at the potential for the runway to cause hydroplane in the aircraft when it's trying to land or take off during inclement weather. The second test we performed was a pavement condition neck survey, which is looking at the surface condition of the airfield. What we use is an eight foot long uh, aluminum level with a uh, LCD readout. And what we're doing is verifying that the contractor has put in adequate slopes for drainage for 20 feet right of center at 2,500 foot. We have a positive 1.3 slope, basically meaning the runway is crowned and sloping, the water is going to slope away from the center line of the runway. We also do uh, a measurement using a hydro timer to determine the average texture depth of the pavement surface. This is freshly laid asphalt, so there's really not a whole lot of texture at the moment, so it's going to take some time for it to run through. Yeah, we're sitting at about 36 seconds since it's dropped below the first float. With 203 seconds on the hydro timer, um, this correlates to verifying the data we took with the CFME robot to determine the friction values here at uh, Spofford Auxiliary Field. The robot showed us that it was very smooth, very little texture. The hydro timer is, is verifying that data. The third test we performed is destructive testing using the dynamic cone penetrometer and the coring. And that's looking at the structural layers of the pavement to help us determine what's, what the pavement structure is. This was the next layer of soil that we hit. So that they used this to level the area to make it flat. And then below that, you have this which appears to be a high plastic clay. And also look at the load bearing capacity. The final test, the heavyweight deflectometer, is doing non-destructive testing, looking at the deflections of the pavement when loaded. And those will also play into the load bearing capacity of the pavement. This airfield is actually in excellent condition. Obviously, it was reconstructed in the past year. The paving operations just finished last week. The friction is a little bit low, but that's to be expected from a fresh pavement. We expect that within the next six to eight months, as the pavement weathers and gets traffic on it, it'll reach friction characteristic levels that we want. Every base is different. No matter how similar an airfield might look, every base is different. So it's always fun to find those unique challenges and trying to solve them.